Hey guys, today's video I'm going to be talking to you about the Mini Cushion Tote by Coach. So if that's something you're interested to learn about, keep watching. <music> videos out once a week um, dealing with all things luxury fashion and style so if that's something you're interested in don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and you'll be able to see all my future content okay so let's get into it so this bag the mini cash and tote this was designed based on the cash and carry bag which is designed by Bonnie Cashin who was um, the lead designer for coach back in 1969 so they've reimagined this bag, um, designed it in a mini version, which I think is amazing. So let's get into it and I'll open it up. So when I bought this bag, it came in the, um, it's kind of like a silky material, but I wouldn't say it's silk, um, but it's really nice. It feels good. Um, a great way to keep the bag nice and safe. Um, so let's open it up. So this is my mini cash and tote bag and it is in the um, butter it's the buttercup colorway so um it's really cute um it comes with this um, shoulder strap or crossbody strap and like all coach bags they come with the iconic coach tag that hangs from um, the top handles and of course they come with two small top handles here, which I think are really cute. Um, the bag also has a magnetic snap closure, as you can see there. And it kind of just pulls away. It's quite a strong um, magnet. You can kind of hear it, hopefully. Um, so that's quite cool that it's a little bit concealed. Um, it's not just open, even though it's small, um, people could still get their hands in without that um, snap closure. So um, this bag, I wanted to get a smaller type bag because I have um, a lot of big bags in my collection. I don't have um, many small bags. And often I find myself having to grab my stuff, my keys, my wallet, um, my AirPods, whatever it might be, and um, just kind of have, handle them in my hands and fill my pockets. And I'm not sure about you guys, but I hate filling my pockets full of stuff. So um, I wanted to get a small bag that I can just grab and go with my stuff um, when I'm going to the shops or going to see a friend or doing small um, errands and things like that. So that's the main motivator for me wanting to get this bag. And I was doing a bit of research um, on smaller bags and I didn't really want to at that point go and buy a small bag from one of the larger, more expensive luxury houses. So um, I was kind of looking around to see what a good quality, um, what reviews are out there. Um, and I um, felt that there were many different types that I could um, look at. And in particular, I was drawn to this one because I saw Caleb Snell um, do a review of his um, mini cash and tote in the white colour. I can't remember the exact colour name, but um, it's so cute. So I really wanted to um, go and have a look at this bag. So it just happened, my partner and I, we were down on the Gold Coast here in Australia and um, it was Boxing Day just after Christmas and we decided to go look at um, the sales that were happening in general um, down there at Pacific Fair. So um, we went into Coach and it just happened that at the time Coach was having a 20% sale on um, everything store wide. So this was their main retail store based on the Gold Coast. Um, not an outlet, it's just a normal retail store. So um, they were having 20% on all full price items. So that was really exciting and we went a little bit crazy in there. Um, but of course the cash and mini tote happened to be um, there and on sale. So I was looking at the different colours and I was kind of toing and froing and trying them on. And um, But then I was really keen to um, get it because I just fell in love with it. And I love this yellow colour, this buttercup colour. Um, it's something that is a bit more of a pop. Um, I tend to go for more browns or neutral colours when it comes to bags. 
So um, I thought, why not just go for a bit more of an exciting colour? So that's why I went with the Buttercup and I thought it was really nice. So um, the this bag, the Mini Cash and Tote, it retails for $450 Australian dollars. And um, that's the current pricing on the website. Um, it is... So I had 20% off that, so I got this bag for 360 Australian dollars on Boxing Day. Um, so pretty good, $90 um, savings on the bag, which is great. Um, and yeah, so I've used it quite a bit since I've purchased it. Um, and I do think it's a great bag. I um, Yeah, I'll put some mod shots in for you guys as well, so you can have a look and see what it looks like. Um, on me when I'm standing and um, and I'll throw them um, into the video for you but I also will now show you what fits into this bag because I think um, it can pack a punch before I show you what fits I forgot to show you guys but inside the bag here just under the snap closure you can see that it has a card slot here so it can fit I reckon a couple of cards maybe your driver's license or your um, credit card or something like that, um, which I think is pretty handy. So, um, all right, now I will get into showing you guys what fits. So generally, if I'm just ducking out or going shopping or something like that, um, I'll grab this and I will pretty much put into here um, a number of things. So my card holder from Louis Vuitton um, has my driver's license, my um, main bank card, and just a couple of other cards in the the middle slot there. So I'll throw that in. I like to have all my cards available, so I probably wouldn't use that, probably for receipts to put in that card slot in the bag. Um, but I wouldn't normally put any of my main cards because I would just have a card holder with me anyway. And I always need to have hand sanitizer with me these days for obvious reasons. Um, I like to carry mints with me as well, so I always have them with me. Um, my keys to my house. Sometimes I'll take my um, driver's license, uh, my car keys as well, um, and they fit pretty nicely into there. Some lip balm from Chanel. And AirPods. If I'm by myself, I'll take my AirPods with me um, and just use that as I um, am walking around or doing whatever I need to do. So I'll throw those in. And that's pretty much what I take. So that's pretty much everything I've put in here now. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like with all that stuff inside. So you can see there's still a little bit of room to throw a couple of more things in there, but um, it can hold a fair amount. Now, um, I actually, tried earlier and my iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max, which I recently purchased, um, is a bit bigger than my iPhone 11 that I had before that. So my iPhone 11 would fit perfectly fine in here, push towards the back, um, and then the snap closure would just go around it and still snap close. Um, it's a little bit harder now with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, I'm filming on that at the moment, so I can't uh, show you how that fits. Um, but um, it is a bit tighter with that and you might need to kind of be a bit mindful of how you put things inside and move them around or what you take um, just because it is slightly bigger um, than what my 11 was so um, but I don't mind holding my phone or having my phone in my back pocket I'm okay with that um, I think my issue with pockets being full is having my keys and my card holder on my phone um, everything like that my AirPods, it just drives me crazy. So I would rather have a nice small bag with that. I can carry those things in and um, not be worried about it. I also forgot to mention to you guys, so the, um, the crossbody strap has five holes that you can adjust the strap to. Um, I currently have it in the middle one, so the third one um, along, um, which sits just onto my hip. Um, which I really like and I can kind of push it to the back as well um, as I'm walking so um, that's the bag and I love it I think it's um, amazing it even has the four feet which um, I think is great and protects the leather um, which I really like and yeah I think it's a great little bag to grab and go and take your things 
I often am always wearing it crossbody. Um, I'll sometimes just keep it on my shoulder. Um, when I'm getting out of the car, I kind of just grab the top handles. Sometimes I'll walk like this um, with the shoulder strap just hanging like that um, as I'm walking. Because um, sometimes I get sick of having a crossbody. I'll just try a different style. Um, but generally speaking, I'm always wearing a crossbody because it's, it's comfortable. It's um, a very easy bag to wear. But I think it is a really good bag if anyone's looking on the market. It's, um, like I said, 450 Australian dollars. Um, and I got this one for 360 when it was on sale. And as you know, a lot of you would already know, Coach have an outlet where a lot of their older um, versions of bags and clothing um, go on sale. Um, but also the retail stores always are having sales on and off. Um, so keep your eye out, you might be able to snag one a bit cheaper. I did look on the website um, before I started filming this one and I don't think this bag is available, at least in Australia, in the yellow or the white anymore. I can only see that they have a pink colour, which I'll put up here, um, and it seems that that's the only one you can get at the moment, so I have a feeling Coach might have discontinued the other colours. Um, but still check it out. I'm sure you can probably source one somewhere else. They may even be on available on the outlet websites now. I also forgot to mention to you guys as well. So this um, crossbody strap, it's, it also um, is detachable. So it comes off those D-rings um, and you can remove that strap as well. So um, you can see there that it's just got the D-rings that you can push down and then you can just hold it um, top handle if you really wanted to. One thing that I love is we have a few coach bags here, my partner and I, and um, I also can use another strap. And this one is from another large tote bag that we have, um, which you can also use. So um, it's a nice chunky strap, a bit more durable. Um, so there you go. You can use that strap to carry with you as well. And it looked really nice, that blue colour against the, um, the yellow as well. So it's really great that the, um, the, body sh the yellow leather um, crossbody strap is detachable because then you can really mix it up, um, use some other straps as well. And I think that's really cool. So guys, that's my review of the Mini Cushion Tote by Coach. Um, I hope that it was helpful and you guys um, enjoyed seeing the bag, seeing what I could put in it. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave some comments down below. Um, I love engaging with you guys and, um, and replying and talking about all things luxury and style with you guys. So um, if you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel and um, you'll be able to catch wind of all my future videos moving forward. So um, thanks again, guys. I appreciate you um, looking at my videos and talk to you soon.